Hello everybody, this is Val with This Is How You Do It, and I am fin to make some flaxseed gel. I have my flaxseeds in a Ziploc bag, and this is what they look like when you go to the store. You don't buy the cereal, you, you actually buy the seeds. And I take two tablespoons of flaxseed gel to two cups of water and boil and stir until it thickens. Here's the two cups of water. There are a vast number of conditions that make you eligible for disability benefits and dozens of additions that you may not be aware of. So if you're disabled, one tablespoon, call the Citizens Disability Helpline today for a free, no obligation consultation. Call 1 800 497 Stir, 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 stir. I think I probably just let the um let it boil until it thickens up, and I'm going to start on another pot to make my cream mix, like a um body and hair mix, and I'm going to put all my oils together, and some of those oils I'm going to add into my flaxseed gel, and I'm going to make my hairstyle. Right now, I have some shortening. Uh, you can use Crisco shortening, but the reason I use this is it's cheaper, and uh, all the ingredients on the back is the same as Crisco. Crisco is a name brand, so it costs more. Simply is vegetable shortening. One, two, turn it down. It's a little high. Get me some of this um African shea butter. One. You're watching and Three. Three. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get me some uh, coconut oil. Probably get two spoons of this. Young man, I'm going to initiate you into the realities of the world of business. Some castor oil. My office boy and stay close by my side. Yes, sir. Get my hat over there. Yes, sir. Small amount of this. Stick by my side. Yes, sir. Where are we going to go? To the football game. And some olive oil. You don't have to me melt that. The only thing that probably needs to be melted is the shea butter. The rest of it can be in a solid, solid form, even the uh, shortening. That's if you're going to whip it into a body and uh, hair mix. And uh, I'm going to put some canola oil in it. All the oils you need are right in the cooking section. Put a spoon of that in it. That's it. Flex seeds have not begun to boil yet. And I'm trying to make sure that the uh, shea butter has melted. And what I'm going to do with this is 
gonna probably take two or three tablespoons and put it in my flaxseed gel mix so that it'll have a oil moisturizer in my gel. Stirring the uh, mixture. And I'll come back when it's thickened. Well, folks, I'm off the phone. I done stirred up the gel until it got into a, a well, the flaxseed until it got into a thicker state. I got this little bit of a thing right here. And I'm going to pour it in here. See that? Look at that. Can you see it? What I'm doing now is letting the seeds um, drain the seeds um, from the gym. Sipping it. I don't know, y'all. I'm looking for the right word to say. Straining it. That's the right word, I guess. And because it, look, it's so thick, it ain't even going through there. I'm gonna have to move it around. Now this some good gel. It's 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 gonna get it thick enough. As thick as it is, y'all, I may have to wait and let it go down in its own time. And come back to see, let y'all see what happened. Now. I have the, the, the gel in here. What I'm going to do, the flaxseed gel, there's uh, some seeds left. I'm going to continue to let these drain in here. And I'm going to take some of this. That's how you make flaxseed gel. That's the end process of that. That's making of the flaxseed gel. Now I'm finna make my styler. This is there. This is how you do it. Finna make her styler. I got some uh, eco styler gel. It don't matter which brand you use, and this will help thicken up the flaxseed gel. And with the uh, these are some oils that I have in here. I'm just gonna pull some, put some oils in in the flaxseed gel. To give it more moisture, uh, so it can be more moisture in it. And now I'm going to blend, 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 blend. Mix it up. This is how I make my uh, hairstyle. Using flaxseed gel. And this way, the flaxseed does not uh, 
continue to be a running mess, you can actually work with it. that I keep in the refrigerator I keep in the refrigerator and it lasts for months if I don't use it and this is how much I have left of my flexi gel mix and so that this is why I am making some more and this is the consistency of it has great slip and has oil in it. Once you put it in your hair, there's moisture in your hair. So what I'm gonna do now is pour it in my container. It makes a full container. Without going to the store, and buying your own, buying a hair mix or a hair styler, like all the stylers you use to uh, activate your natural curls, this will activate your natural curls. And we all know flexi gel is one of the best gels you can use to activate your curls. Now, let me go ahead and show you this. homemade styler just as good or better than any other styler that you can have but you made it yourself for pennies on the dollar and this is there but this is how you do it on how to make your own hairstyler for the curly girl and i talk to all of you people later bye bye